I do. Alright, uh, the room, the password is just Anon. Alright, thank you. Yeah, let me see. Uh, pick my character. There we go. Oh, man. But yeah, so how you been, man? Uh, pretty good. About the same as usual, I guess. Nothing really out of the ordinary, just working on the same stuff as always. I got you. And hey, what about you? Oh, man. Uh, work just has me busy and all that stuff, and just trying to make sure that everything lines up well for the holidays. You know, trying not to be broke after getting oh. presents for people and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's true. That makes, that makes sense. Yeah. Thankfully, I have my family Jehovah's Witnesses, so I don't buy any presents, so that's good. Oh, no, you looked up then, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, half is really just my uncle, but either way... Either way. I stay in my basement all day, so they don't expect me to give up. Well, I don't have a basement. I stay, I stay in a dark room, mashing graphite on paper all day, so no one expects an actual president. So uh, that's, yeah. Ah, understandable. Hey, Knives, how's it going, bro? But yeah. Let's see. Ah, oh, man. Oh, yeah, did you ever look through some of the stuff that they did for Rising for... Uh, for your boy. I saw a little of the stuff you sent me, but other than that, I haven't really been paying attention to video games at all. Like, he has, like... I, I saw they changed, uh, the property of some movies or something, but... I'm not really entirely sure. I get you. Uh, six frames, what are you doing back there? That. Oh, okay. Whoop. I'm heavy, good one. Yeah, if I, if I think you're... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, that, no, that doesn't work. I said, yeah, if, if I think you're going to uh, counter, I should just throw. But I didn't react. I'm fine. Ah, uh, okay. Nah, yeah. Fucking poof. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, since they're taking out, like, Overdrive and Tactical Rush and stuff, you gonna miss that, or...? Yeah, I like those things, but I don't know. I mean, I, I, I remember, I love it on like Overdrive when I found out, but I, I, I never mind Overdrive personally. It's, uh, it's fine. So yeah, that would be unfortunate, but it's not like I actually play fighting games anymore. So, I mean, they can remove literally everything I like, but I'm actually going to get into this point. So, you get the idea. <laughs> like, I remember one time, some guy was telling me some story about, what was it? Something happened. Uh, he said, you hear how they ruined game XYZ? I was like, yeah, that's real sad because I still play that, but like, I, I've kind of been so disconnected at this point, I don't really know. Like, I remember some guy was like, oh, uh, some guy I know missed him, he said, oh, do you hear the Dragon Rulers got unbanned in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Game? I was like, yeah, I never actually even played that dick, but I, I know what those were for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. No, I get you. I get you when it comes to stuff like that, though, but yeah. No, or, yeah, they yeah. just, uh, they just unbanned them recently, and I thought that was really fucking funny. Yeah. I mean, I guess they're like, I guess power creep has gotten so far now, it's not really gonna be like a gigantic deal. Yeah, like, basically. I like, I remember, something else that I remember happening. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, this isn't really the same thing. I remember with, uh, Digimon, when my friends was like, oh, bro, they finally added, uh, the Renamon, you can make that day. I was like, well, that'd be really cool, I still own any parts, but I don't, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nah, but, yeah. uh... Oh, man. Uh, nah, yeah, I've heard even the... The Digimon card game has gotten fucking wild. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, like... I don't know about this. That tends to happen a lot of these games where, like, oh yeah, they have, like, some semblance of balance early on, and then suddenly they just go nuts, and then just do whatever. Oh, I forgot this one. Yeah. No, and especially something right, like so Digimon. It's like, well, Digimon okay. has always been a series about power creep, so I guess uh, it's good. Oh, yeah. Right. Wait, is it? Yeah, 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 you're right. They, I remember they added, uh, they added Ultimates in, like, 1999 or something. I, I forgot when they added You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, yeah, you know, I know what you're first talking thing about. First we had you're Child about the Adult Megas and Perfect. And stuff like that. Yeah, yeah Mega. They, they added like, that Mega shit, just like... After the fact. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's why, in the, that's why in the anime only, uh, you know, War Greymon and... <laughs> 
and the Garumon, Metal Garumon yeah, yeah. have uh, Megas at all. Yeah. I think that's what I think it was. I I'm think, not entirely sure of that. Uh, I think it was like that. Like, they built it up so hard, though. It was crazy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, I messed that up. And then, uh, some other thing happened. Oh, oh yeah, I messed that up. So other thing they did that was really weird, power creep wise, like uh, it? oh yeah, in, in Tamer they went from just like oh we have cards occasionally that we use like once for battle to okay let's just use them and like lower things up. Or something. Yeah, I remember that. Tamer's was Tamer's was something else. Yeah, let's just completely break off the thermodynamics now and just uh, I don't know, shoot lasers from in there. I don't know what it is now. Yeah, I, I actually rewatched Tamer's like. I don't know, like three years ago, not that long ago, and I some, some, somehow I'm struggling to remember what actually happened just that fast. Oh man, God, let me see. There was a couple of stuff from Tamers that happened, like, um, oh, uh, that girl Alice, she was actually, like, in a, a coma. Ghost? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that, yeah, and the other guy was like <laughs> Jesus, and like, I don't think, I can't remember if he was alive or not. And then, uh, oh yeah, 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 there's a whole thing with, uh, Rio kind of just, God, you just character. showing up like, with some random ass yeah. shit though. Like, holy no, I, I remember, I, I remember, I remember. They said that like the brave tamer was like really, it was like a really big deal on the wonders ones. And so they said that because of that, okay, we got to put them in because that game sold a bunch of copies. You know, understandable. Yeah, you ever played brave tamer? No, no, never got. There's a fan translation, and I tried it, but I'd never finished it. I heard it was kind of tough. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, a lot of the older Digimon games were always kind of tough. <laughs> yeah. I remember reading that the European version of uh, World is like actually unbeatable because of the programming error. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> it's something the Jack. Oh yeah, no Jack. It's something the guy I know told me. He said it like, uh, what was it? He said that you need uh, what was it? Ninety nine. You need uh, one hundred and one of something to win. But he said that the number only is ninety nine. So like, unless you use a cheating device, you can't do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Something like that. Like it's, it's, I think it's like technically beatable. But they say it, it. They say it takes like 500 hours without cheating. So like, oh uh, yeah, you could do it. But at that point, you're just gonna use game charts and probably. Jesus man, let's see. That's I came here to laugh know. at delay net code in current day. <laughs> understandable, Squid. Understandable. Just plug in your router. I mean, plug in your Ethernet. I don't know what like this. Plug in your and, Ethernet uh, oh. cable directly to the router, bro. Yeah, that. Oh, that reminds me. Did you ever play Digimon World Four? No, no. Oh, I actually really like that one, but apparently most people really, really just like that one. Like, yeah, that's the co-op okay, one, right? Yeah, it's the co-op one, and it's like Diablo. Yeah, I, like, I remember. It's, it's a hack and slash. Yeah, I remember. I, like, I remember. Agumon had an axe and some shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Agumon <laughs> had an axe. Diamond has a dagger. Uh, Dorumon, which is the one from you know uh, World X, has a katana. Yeah, katana. And Bimon uses a sword. And I remember I rented that from like movie gallery or something and uh i was like really trying to finish it and like my cousins were playing me for a while but they got bored because they kept dying i was like oh you just, you just grind for four hours and they're like bro the copies at your house okay how are you gonna do that i was like okay good point <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking right about that though it's like bro how the fuck yeah. you expect <laughs> <laughs> so i like eventually finished it but it took me like two years because uh, you can finish it with uh, a rookie but you have to just keep grinding, and like by the point I finally unlocked uh, champions, like or, what, 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 I can't remember. By the time I unlocked like a perfect Digimon in like uh, 2014, because like I anyway, but I, I was like, okay, well I'm obviously just gonna finish the whole game with the rookie now. So yeah, it's never like, like it's like you ever play one of those those infinite clicker games, like Cookie Clicker or whatever? Yeah, you yeah. Level up. It's like that where it's like, yeah, you're you're technically worse and you have higher potential with this, but like I don't want to go through that whole grind again. I already spent. 70 levels leveling up Demon. So, yeah, that happened. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're talking, we're talking about Grand Blue's one, right? Grand Blue. Yeah, Lowane oh, yeah. does Lowane stuff. And then you knock down, and a safe jump, and then all oh, you. Oh, you. Other than that. Then you do the reset, and oh, you get other things. Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. And, oh, no, I know what's gonna happen now. There you go. Oh, man. Oh, God damn, man. But yeah, nah, today's just been one of those days, man. Just uh, out oh, about, yeah. like, uh, shopping for Christmas stuff and getting the tree ready. Oh, I see. 
Yeah, yeah. Like you after, after this little, you know, after a little first attempt, I basically gotta like get back to setting the tree, basically. Oh yeah. Did you guys use like a real tree or a plastic tree? No, no, a real tree. Uh, I always used to use a plastic tree uh, back in the day. But uh, yeah. my girlfriend was one of those people that's like, no, no, we always gotta get a real tree. Fuck these spike shit. And I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I understand. Uh, I remember real tree when I was like five, but uh, we used plastic. We used like a little, what, two foot tall plastic tree for <laughs> basically every year after that. And now we don't even bother with that. But uh, I don't know. Something like that. No, yeah. Like, God, when I used to live with my mom, like, we always had a plastic tree that we'd just pull out from the closet. Oh, yeah. And it was I gotta one be of those trees that came yeah. with uh, lights attached, so we didn't have to do oh, anything yeah. with it. I gotta be honest, when I hear plastic tree, you know the first thing I think of, right? Nah, yeah. Oh, shit. The band. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Huh, what was it? The band. The band? Plastic tree. If you remember future colors from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, da 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 forgot yeah, yeah, the remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that band is called Plastic Tree. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't know if I'm going to this. You remember Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? I do, actually. I used to be super into that when it came out. I was, like, in love with Aki. I think I already told you a story, but I knew I could not this again. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I can't block that. I was holding back. Oh, well, I guess it, I guess as long as the was triggered. Yeah, okay. I mean, Aki's fucking, you know, Aki's a good choice. Like, everyone liked Aki. Okay. Yeah. Did they? I thought most people about her were like mental ill. What was it with her parents? They never showed again. You, you remember that? Like, they showed her parents. Yeah, I remember more that. Like, say. her parents were fucking assholes to her, and it's like, oh, as soon as they settled her fucking issue with their parents, it's like, who? Yeah, they just never brought her again. That was kind of weird. They did that and a then, lot, uh, though. You know, they it's did. like, oh, damn. Woo. We saw all our scores. Woo, thank God. I'm glad that's over. Yeah. Anyways, never see you again? Yeah, never see you again. Yeah. Or I remember how Jack struggled to get a job, and then they did a whole arc about how he couldn't work at Starbucks because he didn't know how to pour coffee, and he couldn't work at the cop. He couldn't work anywhere because he was bad. And they just never resolved. He never got a job. Yeah, and then <laughs> he just became a ramen shell. It was the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah. Basically, it's thanks, like for the <laughs> thanks for the stream. Yeah. And it's yeah, like five was based. Yeah. It's like, it's like it's a family guy where Peter got fired and tried to work at the Renaissance Fair and they never got a job at you. Yeah. Remember that one? Is there that, you remember that episode of Cheers where Danny got fired and never got a job at the end? And he's like, oh yeah, that annoyed the hell out of me. <laughs> and Cheers was some shit though, like... Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was Cheers frequently, something they said like that, but yeah, like... Oh no. Oh, I was trying to counter it in there. Oh, uh, I, I have to wonder though, why Charlotta? What is it about Charlotta you like the most? I, I, I mean, I, I get it. She has like, I don't know. Actually, no, what is about Charlotta you like? Oh, honestly, um, I really just like uh, her mobility, and she just hits hard. Oh. Like she's literally oh, yeah. just like a little cannonball, and I think that's cool. Oh yeah, that's understandable. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I remember uh, uh, the fourth season. She's like the first fan I ever actually watched. I, remember, so I was like, oh, what happens next? And I never found out until I had I had to watch the. Uh, What's when we were laying out 79, you just put up on YouTube. Remember when you could put fences on YouTube and they didn't get removed? God, I remember that. I remember I watching Bleach on YouTube in three parts. God, oh, really? what a oh, yeah. <laughs> The three part thing. The three part at 240p. God, what a, yeah. what a fucking time it was back then. Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> yeah, the first one I saw was like 5Ds. And after that, I think I saw like. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember. I watched Queen Blade on, on YouTube, but it was like the. It was like the, the seven. It was a seven p.m. censored version uh, for obvious reason. Yeah, for <laughs> obvious like, reason. What is this? <laughs> what is this? And like, uh, I think it was like a. I don't remember. I think it was like a troll. So because I remember there were a bunch of those back then. Remember, like, remember Dada Bio? God, <laughs> you actually. <laughs> <laughs> People would just do like their uh, jokes over just say whatever. Like I remember, uh, you seen Queen's Blade, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the first episode, it's the part where Rishti's explaining to, to Lena how to fight, and she says, Remember, you always keep your wits about you, and keep your sword as close as possible. Or something like that, but like, the translator didn't know what it meant, so she was like, Uh, Lena, jo tachi wa mono ken ama so desu te. And then she's like, and then the, there, there's nothing on the screen, bottom of the screen at all, and she's like, Do you understand that? She's like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> and they just didn't tell you what it meant. <laughs> it was so stupid. <laughs> oh my god, fansubs like that were such stupid shit. <laughs> Yeah, I will now push myself this fish. I think God. I don't remember actually seeing that. I just remember seeing that picture. I don't remember God, that fucking that. that fucking moment from fucking Gios. 
No, yeah. yeah. But, Yu-Gi-Oh! Always, Yu-Gi-Oh! anime always have fucking, like, production issues. Like, oh my god. The entirety of Reigns was an entire fucking uh, production issue. Oh yeah, Kei means okay. plan. Hey, god, yeah. I'll never forget that translation. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, according to Kei translation. Yeah. Kei Kakumi's plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. And then, uh, what's, what's another funny one? Oh, did you ever watch, uh, you know, Paul Oda King Johnson, right? Yeah, yeah. I've never seen you the whole. Are you the fancy? He has had some documentary. <laughs> he mentions that he says, according to, it was like some book about translations from the 1800s now. He said, according to, I don't know the name, according to Peter Lowenthal's book on translation, uh, the point of the translation is to be concise. Like, you're not even there, and to just bring forth the idea to be legible to the audience. But tell me, is this legible to anybody? And then, like, some scene from, I forgot what show it was, and then was like, uh, Tonodachi sama, it is time for the Bunraku festival, and I have prepared the meat of the Udo. And he's like, who like me? I don't know. <laughs> Era, what's the other thing? Uh, he said they would often do uh, very literally translate things. Or, uh, oh, no, I did that. Where some guy's like, come on, I'm talking to you. And he's like, of course. Come on, I'm talking to you. It has to be, even at a time like this. <laughs> God, I love stupid shit like that. It was so that funny. Guy, great. you. Yeah. I'm, oh, that reminds me. I remember. I, I remember. I remember when I was in high school, I liked a coding class where we were learning how to make HTML pages. And after I finished my homework, so I guess we were, I started watching Tech Man Blade in, in the office and they were like, what is this earth? And my teacher's like, what are you watching? And I was like, oh, it's called Tech Man Blade, but this guy trying to save the earth from like evil monsters and these aliens. He's like, oh, he looks really weird. What is, what is this? Or something, <laughs> something like that, I can't remember. And, uh, oh yeah, you, you've seen Tech Man Blade, right? A bit of it, yeah. I got. She saw the gay. Bit. She saw the gay guy. And was like, "What's this abomination?" I'm not I'm not just throwing it out there. <laughs> oh wow, it does catch everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, 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 okay, you block. <laughs> that was so stupid. Holy shit. Yeah. And uh, what's happening? That's when he happened. I remember. Uh. I think I only started watching that because I played TBC. But, uh, yeah, that was the thing. And then, uh, I think I saw a little bit of The Man 2008, but I never fi- I never finished that at all. Nah? No, I mean, I- I've- I know what The Man is basically about, but I'm- I'm- I've never was really super into it. No, I get you. I tried watching the 2008 one, I got like three episodes in, but then like the- the fan subs were taking forever, so I had to wait oh, for yeah. it, and then by the time I remembered about it, I just like- Fell off on it, and I know I was watching it because of Tatsunoko versus Capcom, and I was oh, like, yeah. "Oh, hey, you know what, what's all this about?" Right. Yeah. yeah, I had that problem too, where I was fall out something really badly for whatever reason. Right. I remember I was reading uh, Ginga Nagare no Shigin, you know, Silver Fang, a few yeah. months back, and I was really liking it. But then I got really busy with something, and Corpy was like, "Hey, you finished watching that thing?" And I was like, "Oh, oh yeah, that." No, <laughs> I had forgotten. Cause you know that's like one of the most popular anime in like Northeastern Europe, right? Is it? Yeah, it's like they're Dragon Ball Z apparently. From the what, from, like, where, yeah, it's really like they said Finland, Norway, and I, I think Sweden. They said that like they, that's like a really popular anime, and like to the point where the the author got invited to some Finnish anime convention, and he went and he said, "I got to like a god there." I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of crazy. And apparently, they translated all the uh, the the guidance and side stories into Finnish as well. I don't know if they're all in like other languages, but yeah, that's what I remember. There's this guy, I, there was this Norwegian guy I used to make AMVs with, and he knew it too. Even though he said, Oh, I hate anime, anime is like really generic, I'm not really into that. And I was like, So why do you make AMVs? He's like, Oh, just test my editing out. But uh, not the rest of the game, yeah, that's like a masterpiece. I was like, Oh, okay. And I, and I was like, Oh, I, so I was like, Oh, I, I vaguely heard this series, but I guess that's like their Naruto. No, no, their Dragon Ball Z, because like, everybody knows it apparently over there. God damn, that's actually kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, more you know. Yeah. And another thing I found out is that in, what was it, was it you, I don't know if you know this one, you know your Spawnful Cat and Tyler, right? Yeah. They said apparently that's popular in some parts of Latin America, just because they showed it on TV. They said it was an OVA they bought the rights to, so it was a Spanish dub and they saw it on TV, so like, that's like a, it's way bigger there than it is actually. <laughs> yeah, I could see that happening I can't remember, in a lot of countries. I can't remember if it was like Venezuela or, or, or wherever, it was, it, like, it, I, I don't know where it is. I remember it's like, I remember like a Spanish dub of Kanikman, but it was like done in, surprisingly not Mexico, but like, Colombia. That's kind of crazy, honestly. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually true. 
Yeah, that's pretty sure. I know because like yeah, FLCL exactly. is way more popular here. Fully coolie, as we call it. I remember, exactly. I, I, remember I, I said that to a guy before, and he was like, "What the hell do you call it? Fully coolie?" I mean, like, that's what <laughs> we call it, though. He was from he was from uh, Norway. Ah, uh, so he what do they call it there? Fudikuri? No, he just called it FLCL because he wants to offend stuff. He said they didn't, oh. they didn't ever get it on TV, so he just happened to see it because it was a guy next show and he liked guy next. Ah, uh, yes, Saint Seiya is really popular in Mexico, yeah, Italy, exactly. France. Uh, like I remember, uh, Common Rider Black is super popular in South America. Yeah, I heard about that too. Yeah, and uh, I remember uh, Filthy was telling me they they all like Ultraman in Brazil. Love that. I can believe that. I'm not sure. Yeah, and uh, what's the other show? I mean, being like a huge deal. Uh, forgot what's to be said. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, people do was like I remember I, from watching people do I realized how big Saint Say was in France because like uh, the guy who did he was saying, oh yeah, we were kids, we all like Saint Say. So I was like, oh yeah, let's do something like that. But like, yeah. Well, or something there. Another thing that was funny was, uh, you said you, you never think you could have you? No, no. But you know what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. They got the French voice of Vegeta to be an episode. They said, wow, we couldn't believe that we got him, but he was here. <laughs> God damn, that's fucking <laughs> yeah. crazy. But that's the funny thing, the, 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 the French voice of Goku is already the main character, so I'm like, eh, that's not that shocking, but... <laughs> still yeah, funny. Yeah. But still, it, it is kind of funny to just be like, oh, hey, yeah. not only did we get Goku, but we got Vegeta. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> We're, oh, I keep trying to bait that, and it works. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. oh yeah, uh, I was gonna say related to that. Uh, that's also true. Yeah, some 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 voice, some language they gotta like <laughs> just pull everybody together. Apparently. I mean, oh, hey, back you. in the day, you know, anytime we got a dub in the show back in the day for anime, it was always just like the. Steve uh, yeah, it was always ocean dubs and shit like that. Like we always yeah. had Canadian voice actors voicing our fucking shows. Yeah. I remember they brought the Canadian voice of Vegeta for that one episode of Dragon Ball Super with the clock. God, yeah, I remember that too. It was really fucking great. It was just like, oh, hey, look, here's uh, Brian Drummond. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, let's just throw that out there. Do the thing. Oh, oh. Yeah. Woo! Um, Holy shit. Oh, that's another thing I found out. Yeah. You remember, uh, you've, you've seen the, the, the Bastard OVA, right? Uh, no, I haven't seen it yet. No, from, 19, from 1993. Oh, that one. I saw, like, one. One of the oh. OVAs. I found out the guy who voices Dark Schneider also voiced Cosmo and Fairy Godparents. I, I never heard of him, but I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that shit, guy. What? And his wife voiced Arshus, like his actual real life wife. Huh. Before you asked me that, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that until like, I, uh, I looked it up. I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds exactly like him. Uh, like, he was like, if you hear, you, I mean, you never heard Dark, or you remember how DS sounds in the movie. <sighs> it's been so long. He's like, on the night of what purchase, someone is sure to die. He's like, oh, yeah, this, that's just anti Cosmo. <laughs> That's fucking great. <laughs> uh, slightly less version anti but you get the idea. Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, that is that guy. But apparently that used to be a thing where like a lot of guys just, you know, they got paid enough to be in any whatever random anime. No, yeah. I heard I remember, oh, here's one I, I didn't realize until recently. Uh, Zatch Bell. You've seen Zatch Bell, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the same voice actor as Jim Neutron. Oh my god, like, when I first heard right. it, I was like... I oh my like, god, oh, you're fucking right. I just oh, hear yeah. it now, what the fuck? Yeah, ha 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 Yeah, I was like, oh yeah, that is, yeah, that is just the same voice, yeah. Holy I didn't shit. realize that until... <laughs> I didn't even think that about it until you that. said it in my head, and it's like, I hear the voice, and I'm just like, wow, wait, hold up, that that is just fucking Jimmy Neutron. What the fuck? Yeah. I think you get paid less for anime or something, so that's why a lot, a lot of them try to transition either to American cartoons or whatever else, but I don't know. Maybe. Uh, oh, that's another thing I didn't realize until recently, speaking of just voice setters who were like, people who were in any other voice setters. Michael J. Fox was in the movie Atlantis. You've seen Atlantis, right? Yeah, Empire. yeah. I've seen Atlantis. Yeah, he's Milo. I didn't, I didn't realize that that was him. I was like, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, that is him. I didn't I didn't realize that. I've seen, I've seen that movie like four times, and I was like, oh, it's that guy. And Leonard Nimoy is the, is the Atlantean Emperor. How did I not notice that? Yeah, or something like that. Uh, but yeah. It's kind of crazy, honestly. Yeah, I mean, like, but, but yeah, like Squidward saying, they, just, they kind of just pull together whatever they have for a lot of these, well, some of these things, so. No, yeah. I guess honestly, together. Honestly, the thing that always uh, um, just throws me off is like when you listen to some a lot older stuff, and uh, you just hear like normal actors and shit, just like in anime oh, back yeah. then. It was just fucking weird. Yeah, that's. Yeah, wasn't that? Yeah, I remember Patrick Stewart was in uh, Steam Boy. <laughs> God, it, it was just weird shit back then, man. Like. Yeah. Oh, hey, Vin. No, we already we're, we're on the ninth match now. Yeah, and... yeah, it's uh, it's already too late, dude. Sorry, I messaged you like oh, a while back, so yeah. Sorry, man. Yeah. This is just conspiracy set up by silent, clearly. 
Nope. Ah, I'm not remember. I don't remember this. You remember the time 84 thought you were conspiring, conspiring against him with the <laughs> rackets? God, I remember. I mean, you probably were, let's be fair, but still. <laughs> oh, man. No, I fucking... I remember when, God, like, uh, Street Fighter Six first came out, and there was a bunch of these fucking new people just going like, uh, why is the tournament organizer in round two already? Uh, is this rigged? And it's like, do you guys not know how the fucking brackets work? Like, what the fuck is this shit like? It's like, yeah. ah, yes, I rigged myself to round two. How did you tell? Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're not used to that, maybe, <laughs> maybe it does seem weird, I don't know. No, yeah, I, but not. it's like, no, I wouldn't fucking do that to myself. Like, I never oh, yeah. fucking put myself in a round two side. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I got it. All right, that's it. Okay, it's over. Yeah, it's over. I mean, there we go. GG's. That was fun. GG's. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't talk about the grand movie the entire time. Nah, something, something, right. gotcha. Something, something, Lil Wayne. Something, something. With coins. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that was fun, though. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for doing this with Vic. <laughs> oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Uh, oh. okay. We'll see what happens with Rising. Is there going to be a Rising tournament? Yes, I'm actually going to break my it's... rule. And uh, I'm just going to host it the weekend it comes out. So it'll just be a week one tournament. That's a rule? I, uh, it's like a personal rule that I hold for myself. It's like, oh, I give the game like two weeks and then host a tournament. We gotta make sure the glitches are cleared out first, and their game is is, is good first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, no, it's no. like, oh, do the lobbies work? You know, is there issues? Okay, that's a good point. Yeah, the, the lobbies actually are. Right. You remember Dead or Alive Six didn't have lobbies in it? Oh my god, that was so embarrassing, bro. I was like, all right, bros, we're gonna have a tournament ready to go, and it's like, there's no lobbies in Dead or Alive Six. It's like, excuse me. <laughs> oh yeah. But at, at least, least they got it within classic. like the yeah. month of release, so it wasn't that bad. Oh yeah. And I'm just gonna say it straight up, it ain't like Mortal Kombat 1 where it's multiple months after release and still doesn't have private lobbies. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, holy oh, shit. It doesn't? Oh, that's no. Amazing. It has no private lobbies whatsoever, but it's got hundreds of dollars worth of DLC. I'm just saying that's fucked up shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, mm, that seems to be somewhat coming with some games now, but I don't know. I'm yeah, pretty, pretty fucking common, yeah. Bam, yeah. still. <laughs> Uh, looking forward to Rising. See you guys there, and uh, looking forward to Uni 2 in January. <laughs> Mm. Yep. All right, man. Yep. It's been fun. Take it easy. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. You too. You too. All right. Let me see about raiding somebody just to send you guys off somewhere uh, a little bit more entertaining. Wait, rigging what? Oh wait, you mean the? Yeah, oh, I'm you gonna... mean the? Yeah, yeah. Oops. I'm gonna I'm gonna raid into a different stream. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, you know, not just end like this, basically. All right. Yeah, fuck. Let me see. Is there anybody on doing anything? You're actually playing Marvel Snap. Wow. <laughs> you know, I still, I still have never played Marvel Snap. I, I saw it. I was like, oh, that's it's card, it's card game, all right. But yeah, I, never, I haven't played <laughs> I it either. Played. And I, I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? It doesn't look interesting whatsoever. <laughs> you know what? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll send you guys over to this guy. He's playing some Master Duel. Uh,. So, yeah, I'm going to send you guys over there. Uh, enjoy whatever rest of the day you guys have. Uh, Baron, thanks for doing this. I'm going to send you guys off, and I got to go set up this Christmas tree shit. So, take care, guys. Mm -hmm.